dear students and my dear fellow companions this is lingareddy katipalli assistant professor of commerce from kaktiya government college hanamkonda varangal district today we will we'll be discussing on the scope and importance of computerized accounting in this session and this uh, presentation will be cover about definition of accounting accounting systems accounting methods and why computers in accounting importance of computerized accounting and uh, the scope of computerized accounting we will go one by one accounting very familiar word to the commerce people and very regular activity to the commerce students the sound of accounting itself resembles that it is a counting activity in our day to day life we are supposed to calculate or count many things number of students number of activities like that so here also the concept of counting and recording resembling accounting and uh, in some special words we can say that accounting is oftenly called as uh, the language of business we better know that any purpose of language is for serving as a means of communication like we common people day to day we are conserving and communicating each other business organizations are supposed to talk itself and communicates with its environment for this there is a need for a sophisticated language this language is called as accounting uh, hence uh, the purpose of accounting for business uh, organizations is to communicate itself in terms of results in terms of status of various aspects of the business world why accounting is always called as a language as i just told to you that accounting is a means of communication every business organization is supposed to talk itself and communicate with its environment regularly every business organizations is supposed to put three important questions on itself that is what it owns in the business what it owes in the business and what is the result of operations uh, if we take the first question what it owns means what asset base it is owing and next what the liability portion it is owing and the next one is what is the result of operations the operations may be trading uh, uh, buying selling manufacturing and somewhat uh, if you go through these questions the answers will be in two reports first two questions will carry the answer in the form of balance sheet that is statement of assets and liabilities whereas Uh, the result of operations can be shown in the form of uh, trading and profit and loss accounts next uh, accounting as uh, information provider so uh, if we call accounting as language definitely it is supposed to provide information to certain people the people who are particularly interesting Uh, in this information is called as stakeholders of accounting information uh, there are some people specially meant for for this accounting information they are called as uh, owners maybe a sole trader maybe a partner maybe shareholder and investors and management the people who are representing the owners and who look after the well being of business and utilization of resources and accomplishment of tasks also and the statutory bodies like icai cfa they are also interested uh, to know the accounting information of particular organizations the next the suppliers and the workforce i mean your employees and your workers and somewhat your customers also very much interested to know the status of your business and society is also watching as uh, in many ways uh, it is also interested uh, to know the accounting information and professional bodies Uh, like uh, I, i just uh, told you that uh, professional bodies uh, somewhat monitoring bodies uh, like uh, gst income tax and somewhat the next uh, research scholars uh, students like you are supposed to do research in future also interested uh, to know the accounting information maybe these are uh, different people but they are seeking information in different way this uh, co- concept of uh, owner seeking information is quite different to the research st- uh, scholar also so accounting as a best language of business is supposed to prepare the information in certain format so that everyone can use on their own better way then 
we will go for the definition of accounting. Uh, this is uh, one of the standard definition we better know. Accounting is the art of recording, classifying and summarizing in a significant manner and in terms of money, transactions and events which are in part at least of financial character and interpreting the results thereof. If we go through this definition, uh, certainly there are four major activities of accounting. First one is recording of transactions and the second one is classify, classifying the transaction and third one summarizing the transactions and fourth one interpreting of results. These are called of phases of accounting and these are in a sequential position and sequential parallels also. Unless until we complete recording of transactions, there is no question of classification and there is no question of summarization. After completion of summarization only we can get the report generation or interpretation. The next one accounting systems. See in practice we have two uh, systems of accounting. Uh, this concept is based on how transaction is being recorded and what quantum of transaction or what part of transaction or which part of transaction is going to be recorded. In uh, general there are uh, two methods of uh, I mean uh, recording this transaction the one is single entry system another one is double entry system. Single entry system records only one aspect of transaction. We better know every business transaction has two aspects. Like here I am speaking, you are listening. Every business transaction consists of two parts or two aspects. If we record only one aspect, that is called as a single entry uh, system of recording. This is absolutely unscientific method and the incomplete system of accounting. Uh, by single entry system, we cannot get complete uh, position of uh, the business structure and uh, we are not able to prepare final accounts also. In order to get reports, we are supposed to convert this single entry system into double entry system that will be a, a cumbersome one and a laborious one also. The, whereas, a double entry system uh, considers and records two aspects of every business transactions. This is a comprehensive and scientific method of recording uh, transactions. By double entry system, we can uh, uh, get the answers. Uh, previously I posted that what uh, it owns and what it owes and what is the result. I mean we are uh, uh, definitely uh, able to prepare by double entry system by this financial accounts like profit and loss account and balance sheet and uh, some other reports also. So, double entry system is most prominent system for accounting system. Of course, in uh, India like countries double entry system also in practice two ways one is traditional and another is modern. In traditional system they are using double entry system on their own choice. For example, in case of double entry scientific method we are supposed to record uh, expenses on debit side, but in case of traditional system they are supposed to record that is debit side incomes. Uh, this is somewhat called as muparja, sadhara and some local words. For that purpose also accounting is became more prominence particularly in case of double entry system. Here onwards we are discussing uh, this topic and session only about double entry systems. And next uh, coming to accounting methods, accounting system uh, concerned with recording of transactions whereas accounting methods, uh, method is concerned with uh, deployment of uh, sources uh, in accounting process. We certainly need human equipment, some stationery to carry out these accounting methods. F uh, according to this, the accounting methods can be classified into two methods, uh, two ways. The one is a manual accounting system and another is computerized accounting system. If we go manual accounting system, the accounting activities like recording, posting and uh, summarization and uh, balancing somewhat interpretation of results uh, will be carried out by human beings and with the help of stationery. Whereas, uh, computerized accounting is quite opposite and quite contrary to this manual, I mean uh, uh, this uh, manual accounting system. Adoption of machines, uh, earlier days we are we are used uh, some machines for data recording like punch card, uh, posting machines uh, and electronic calculators and now what we are using computers also. So, by go through this adoption of machines such as posting machines, punch cards, pay bill machines and electronic calculators and computers is called as automated accounting and somewhat computerized accounting. Computerized accounting uh, was emerged uh, in uh, early 1970s in our country. Earlier days if we observe the about computerized accounting, they are called as a lotus sheets, uh, 
spreadsheet accounting and computerized accounting now it is uh, uh, converted uh, as erp solutions also this is an emerging field in the field of accounting nowadays the next one reasons why we are uh, supposed to use computers in accounting this uh, this uh, uh, topic absolutely leads to the importance and the power of computers say computers can process numerical data more easily than text data in if we look after the accounting data almost the data will be in the form of numerical data for example sales 5000 5000 is a numerical data it is so easy to a computer to process numerical data if we give the text data ultimately the computer need to convert the text data into numerical data by binary code or by ascii uh, certainly there will be uh, some delay but in case of numerical data there is no hurdle and it is a hassle free processing then the second one computers can take up the job that involves step by step manner as we told that accounting is a procedural activity first step recording of activity second one we have some uh, classification of uh, record uh, transactions and then next uh, we will go for summarization and then we will go for uh, uh, preparation of uh, financial statements and interpretation if we design a program to look after all these that will be done in a single moment of time that's why it is so easy and computers are very careful about uh, doing this uh, procedural activities the next one basic method of recording of transactions are quite uh, same irrespective of nature of business we have trading organizations we have manufacturing organizations and we have uh, some service organizations irrespective of their nature every organization is supposed to record transactions that's why a common program was developed in computerized accounting to look after uh, to record all categories of transactions uh, for hetero kind of organizations also and the fourth one completely uh, the powers of computers uh, that is speedy process error free and stores lots of data because of these facilities we are supposed to use computers in accounting the next one importance of computer is accounting we will have one by one short accounting cycle in case of manual accounting this is a lengthy cycle starting from identification of transactions to preparation of final up to five to six phases it will involve in case of computerized accounting there is only one phase you are supposed to perform that is a recording of data and the rest of activities will be carried out by the computer itself within no time and then second one frequent final account preparation in case of manual accounting system unless until completes the fourth phase that preparation of trial balance there is no question of uh, uh, preparation of final accounts for that we need to wait uh, till the end of the preparation of trial balance in case of computerized accounting certainly each transaction will be converted into final reports and they will be sent to the destination with no moment so that we can get the final accounts on day wise on hour wise even minute wise also this is the second importance and the third one reporting is a simple and time saver one see accounting uh, as a means of language it is supposed to report uh, the information in different forms formats in case of manual accounting it is a time consuming and it is a limited scope uh, we hardly will get uh, one or two statements like trading profit and loss account and uh, balance sheet in case of computerized accounting we will convert the reports into many formats in within no moment of time with uh, as much fast as we can the next one ad hoc query see this is one of the important uh, feature of uh, computerized accounting query uh, mean set of questions related to trace out a particular transactions for example we want to know a person who purchased rupees 1000 from our company five years back in manual accounting it is it will be very difficult to trace out we want to locate the stock item if we want to see the movement of a stock but uh, in such cases manual accounting will not support but uh, computerized accounting provides a data filtering options by this uh, by pressing a single button you will get uh, the information what you are required on your fingertips the next one tracing and rectification is very simple see in accounting practices where this is a critical task 
in case of manual accounting if we trace a error uh, the rectification will not reflect in the previous stages and the coming stages but in case of computerized accounting we put checkpoint like negative cash balances negative ledger balances and so on so that the errors will be recognized at the moment and the same will be rectified i mean edited at that moment by editing uh, in computerized accounting or manipulating or by altering the data this will reflect automatically previously i mean retrospectively and prospectively so that uh, tracing and uh, rectification of errors will be very simple task the next one easy to sharing of accounts and account books now, see now we are uh, running business uh, on global manner i mean global businesses is going on everything is to be shared with uh, certain organizations in such case account books and accounting system cannot be shared in case of manual accounting but in case of computerized writing accounting we have data integration tools we have data uh, merging mechanism so that we can integrate our accounts particularly and account books also with many organizations the next one data across application see in case of e-commerce edi epi system we have some extra net uh, services in such cases we are supposed to uh, share our data with uh, our uh, fellow partners in such case across applications cannot be possible in case of manual accounting but in case of uh, computerized accounting we have odbc technology data migration technology we, uh, which can be uh, uh, i mean uh, share uh, i mean send the data to the respected parties uh, with no time and uh, same can be received with no moment also so that across application of data beyond the organization can be possible by computerized accounting and uh, new style reports are easy see after 2016 we have in the era of ifrs in two th after 2017 we have gst right so these are mandatory in some special kind of reports to be prepared and as well as to report in case of manual accounting uh, we can hardly find two or three types of reports only but in case of uh, computerized accounting we can be able to get uh, generate uh, as many as kinds of reports with uh, on fingertips the next one security and secrecy of accountants see we have so much of mechanism in computerized accounting such uh, password mechanism user restriction access entry level or manipulate level uh, mechanism and self hibernation technique and backup technique see self hibernation one kind of recent uh, security mechanism provided in the field of computerized accounting we have, if we got uh, I, I mean if we came to know that uh, somebody has stolen our data at uh, somewhere uh, self hibernation distracts the data where it was stolen uh, without uh, disturbing our the server like uh, cloud technology so all these matters uh, uh, will be provide safety and security mechanism unauthorized uh, preventing unauthorized access to the computerized accounting data the next one last but not least uh, data entry is a simple task in case of manual accounting we are supposed to write uh, journal entry and we are supposed to post them in ledgers we are supposed to make balances trial balance and uh, final i mean final accounts and somewhat uh, adjustments in case of computerized accounting it is a single and a simple task even the people who don't know about computerized uh, accounting or comp accounting principle can be able to get uh, enter the data in a simple manner so we have some uh, technique like uh, data migration technique we can enter the sales transactions we can enter the sales transactions uh, in the form of uh, tabular way or excel format they will automatically convert into uh, this data into sales transactions if you see that malls and somewhere they are supposed to capture the data the mechanism background will be automatically converts the same into accounting transactions like sales and uh, some bank accounts and somewhat somewhat so that data entry is a very simple task in case of computerized accountancy then we will go for uh, the next topic that is uh, scope of computerized accounting it will cover the areas where recently computerized accounting got emerged one by one we will discuss uh, uh, in case of financial accounting area the scope of computerized accounting will be uh, reflect like this multiple companies in manual accounting we are supposed to prepare books of 
of accounts for each company whereas computerized accounting provides uh, to prepare books of accounts or final reports what it may be in the form of multiple companies with a, a single button pressing next one multiple currency so we are running global business that's why we are supposed to prepare the final reports or fi financial statements the in the form of a currency where they were actually exercised for example we have collaboration with usa we are supposed to prepare the data in the form of indian currency rupees and for uh, usa currency in the form of dollars also so by pressing a single button you are supposed to convert the reports into multiple currency with uh, no botheration next one multiple financial years in traditional accounting system we are supposed to start and end uh, the books of accounts uh, uh, for over a period of uh, one year as per accounting year concept we cannot uh, uh, get together more than one year data in case of computerized accounting we can get together we can group uh, by using multiple companies or by, by using grouping companies without altering the existing data we will get multiple financial years data on your fingertips the next one multiple languages see the, we are living a, in a cultural dominated world everybody is fond of on their own language somewhat mother language uh, computerized accounting uh, softwares now providing to enter to see and to retrieve data on their own languages which, uh, which causes uh, uh, with uh, no cost of expenditure and no cost of human effort also that's also user friendly environment uh, we can simply select that button we can simply get the data into multiple languages also the next one cost centers in case of manual accounting and traditional accounting we are supposed to record data on whole because uh, i mean stationary rupees 10000 it will not recognize what stationary whether they are pens or pencil salaries 10000 uh, to which department they were paid whether they were paid to the production department or whether they were paid to the finance department we cannot by using this option cost centers we can break we can split the data without altering the actual data into cost centers we can break and revenue centers also in earlier days we are supposed to record sales 1 lakh which area they were made which uh, product it was made we cannot in case of uh, revenue centers they will automatically identify area wise component wise or category wise or person wise sales or expenditure also the next one instant brs bank reconciliation statement a cumbersome task for every business organization not only uh, the uh, business organizations uh, the people who are uh, running the transactions through banks also in case of brs uh, mechanism um, traditional system we are supposed to prepare a statement uh, by making additions subtractions and uh, by applying accounting principles but uh, the sophisticated computerized accounting software is now available providing us a very user friendly environment by pressing a button and by entering the actual bank dates you will be get uh, the reconciled bank uh, statement on your fingertips within no time so this is very easy task a common man can also prepare uh, irrespective of uh, its uh, backdrop the next one multi columnar reporting say uh, reporting is mandatory nowadays in traditional system we have one only one column on debit side and only one column on credit side but in case if we want to add more than one column there is no question or there is no scope but in this area in computerized accounting we can add as many columns as you you may add a different companies on a same site you may add a different periods on a same site january february march sales you can see x limited y limited and z limited companies data you can also see so this is the important uh, uh, area in the uh, field of financial accounting particularly next one payroll management see hr is the key for success of every business organization see in case of uh, traditional system we are supposed to record only salaries 10000 there is no question of uh, uh, for what purpose it was paid payroll mechanism in computerized activity i mean accounting supports us to split this data into component wise what are the pay what are the allowances what are the deductions and what are the uh, i mean compound values can be see by single button payroll accounting provides as uh, generation of pay slips 
and component wise total uh, pay paid on a, over a particular period or total allowances all over a particular period like that we can see all transactions in a single button pressing this is payroll management somewhat hr applications is also being provided nowadays by the computerized accounting so these are some areas where the computerized accounting was emerged in the new scope the next one cost accounting the second branch of accounting is concerned with ascertainment of cost of production, elements of cost and cost control. Computerized accounting aids cost accounting functions very faster way. Say first one we can see that inventory management, A combination of more than one category of stock is called as inventory like raw material, working progress and uh, finished goods. So, inventory management facilitates us to locate, to trace out right from the indent to the consumption. It is enables us to know various stock levels the, like maximum stock, minimum stock, reorder level, EOQ level and also it will be uh, enables us to see what is the stock position on a particular time of movement. So, inventory management one of the important aspect regard to cost account is the next one multiple stock valuation. Stock valuation see important task in case of manufacturing organizations which not only controls the production activities uh, it which also decides uh, the proportion of profit margin also. We have some methods like FIFO, LIFO and somewhat computerized accounting facilitates with a single button pressing we can see the beautiness of more than one category of stock valuation method on a uh, single pressing button also. We can change FIFO from morning to evening. For suppose we are desired to value the stock on FIFO today morning. Today afternoon somewhat happened in the market we want to change in case of traditional accounting system it will not be possible but in case of this one you can change like FIFO regular, FIFO annual, FIFO perpetual, FIFO moment and FIFO period also. The next one stack categories like cost centers, stock categories uh, classify its uh, the stock uh, items uh, for better handling. See in case of oils we can have some cooking oils is the main category I mean main feature we can further classify into these oils how they were made like coconut oils, groundnut oils and sunflower oils. What it facilitates? It uh, will be receiving as in the form of stock category report so that which category of stock was selling regularly and which is very in slow like FMCG. So, stock categories facilitates to handle the stock. The next one additional cost of manufacturing. See in cost accountancy we are supposed to prepare cost account or cost sheet to ascertain cost of uh, production. Computerized accounting the next one also here it is job costing uh, one is the uh, supplement to the cost accounting. Uh, we can prepare manufacturing account and uh, job costing in a single moment of time with changing. For example, production uh, taken place in the last week includes production overheads. But from this week there is no production overheads. In manual accounting it is not possible. We can simply change in computerized accounting first week will be included the, like that additional cost of manufacturing uh, labor, material and overheads which can be excluded or which can be included also. The next one we have job costing. So, orderly based costing also we can go for that one and next one multiple location. See we are running business uh, nowadays with a virtual management system, logistic supply management system. We do not have, uh, we do not need to have a go down uh, in somewhere where we want to business for that cases multiple location facilitates us how to recognize and how to read uh, the movement. In case of GST also location of supply, place of supply is the key factors for deciding I mean calculating tax. In such cases this will locate where our uh, product was actually manufactured, where they were kept and where they were sold. The next stock aging analysis uh, this is applicable for the uh, items which are uh, going to be expired. So, we can apply this technique also uh, in computerized accounting so that uh, we will not be in a position to loss of our products without selling. The next one movement analysis this will be an another feature of cost accounting it, uh, it will identify uh, item wise or product wise I mean uh, group wise and person wise where they were 
inwarded and where they were outwarded. Particularly, these will be useful for go down maintenance. And next one, point of sales terminals, POS. See, in case of multiple uh, shopping malls uh, like Big Bazaar and somewhere, there where the people used to capture the uh, product sold. This will be recorded on their own. So, this is called as the data integration. So, uh, by using data integration techniques, the captured data can be automatically converted into sales transactions. Think about there will be thousands of transactions uh, on daily basis. If you are supposed to record each and every, how much time it will take? But simply, you can integrate them by a single button press. These are re related to the cost accounting and related to the management accounting. This is another branch of accounting concerned with preparation of management for managerial decision making. So, these are certain tools, financial statements, ratio analysis, cash flow and funds flow statements are facilitates uh, the data, I mean process the data in the required format. By pressing single button, you will be uh, get these reports on a uh, single moment and without uh, no time delay. And then next one, we have report breakup and synchronization. We can break the reports on uh, the required basis and we can group also. Next one, responsibility accounting. See, responsibility accounting is a feature of management accounting that sets uh, targets, monitors the work, find out the deviations and take corrective answers. So, budgetary control. We, um, Budgetary control is the best tool for this uh, responsibility accounting. In case of um, computerized accounting, you can put budgetary control mechanism for all aspects, for stock, for the expenses, for the incomes, for the assets and whatever the business transaction, so that they will be under your control. The next one, uh, you can see that uh, MIS, Management Information System, the recent buzz in the area of computers, it will uh, be uh, fruitful by computerized accounting also. See, it will be in useful for faster decision making because computerized accounting provides instant, accurate and faster data and uh, it will be useful in planning also because uh, computerized accounting provides comprehensive information so that you can make plan with uh, prediction and certain estimations also and uh, see now we are uh, living in an area where the uh, storage of data become more important precious. See, computerized accounting handles lots of data, large volumes of data and retrieves as many ways as you required without no botheration or without no tension. The next one. <coughs> Uh, evaluation of performance can be done by computerized accounting as I told you that putting standards and performance measurements and corrective uh, measures uh, is the combination of uh, performance, I mean evaluation of performance, budgetary techniques, budgetary controls will enable as this function very smooth way. The next one, uh, statutory compliance, computerized accounting now emerged into statutory like TDS, tax reduction at source, tax collection at source as per income tax and GST. In case of GST, the regular uh, dealer is supposed to prepare monthly return and quarterly report and yearly report and submit in time. Computerized accounting now in a position to generate all these reports uh, with a single button pressing so that it will save our time and it will reduce our burden also. The next auditor's version recently released, uh, this will enable the auditors uh, for their audit program. Almost some templates and checkpoints available in these recent softwares, they will speed up and faster the audit process also. These are certain statutory compliances. The next one CAIMS like ICT, Information Communicative uh, Technology for Teachers and Students, CAIS is for business organizations. See some features I have uh, shown here. Increased functionality. Earlier days computer accounting was meant for only business people. Now, the computerized packages available and they are supportive for all kind of activities. A Gram Panchayati can use computerized accounting, a school can use, an hospital can use, a recreation club can use. So, this is a hetero kind organization sub supportive. This is one of the best uh, scope. The next one improved accuracy. After all, computer can do anything. So, as uh, far as computer can do anything and with accurate way. So, the business functioning particularly accounting information process will be done with utmost accurate. The next one faster. See, this is the best feature of computer. Advent of computer see, uh, speed, we can get uh, uh, faster processing of our data also. The next one, better external reporting for, uh, like from IO, IFRS and IASC. Uh, many people are uh, seeking, I mean, uh, information on the different formats and uh, uh, the modern formats also. So, this will be done uh, by multi-format option in the computerized accounting. The next one, improved efficiency uh, by better utilization of resources 
process only we can get the efficiency of our business. So, by making standards and by making budgetary controls and by making checkpoints, we will be uh, in a position that uh, our efficiency will be improved so that uh, our targets will be achieved and cloud accounting see this is the recent uh, buzz in the computer technology simply i can say cloud uh, computer uh, i mean cloud technology there is nothing there is nothing to see but everything to do there is nothing to see but everything to do there is nothing to record but everything can be recorded there is nothing to retrieve but everything can be retrieved at anywhere across the globe this is the uh, beautiness of cloud technology so now cloud technology is emerged into accounting field also say some real time processing open database con uh, connectivity is one of the best tool that allows us to export or import our data across the world the next one multi user environment uh, wherever your business processing process is taken place you are supposed to uh, enter the data on that time i mean on that place but uh, in case of manual accounting it is not possible but in case of computer accounting particularly cloud computing facility you can be in a position to enter or retrieve the data wherever you are the next one machine learning deep learning and artificial intelligence these are three important uh, uh, tools uh, of cloud technology now being used in cloud accounting what these do they are the tools for locating are tracing are identifying the beneficiaries to be benefited and uh, put checkpoints to avoid errors and speed of the process so machine learning deep learning and artificial intelligence are important tools uh, being used in cloud accounting so that uh, we can perform accounting activities without uh, human interference and without uh, any mistakes and uh, within no time or at most speed so these are some uh, cloud accounting basis uh, i mean uh, aspects uh, now uh, entered into the computerized accounting the next one say so uh, regard to uh, employment opportunities also we can uh, consider the scope of accounting see computerized accounting one of the computerized accounting one of the important i mean most attractive field which uh, providing lot of employment opportunities to the student a student with basic accounting knowledge a student with basic computerized uh, i mean basic computer knowledge can get uh, too many jobs in the world some uh, organizations uh, being providing training and placements in india we have some uh, one corporation tally corporation through its uh, tally education wing uh, providing training and development to the uh, students as well as faculty also and they are also providing placements many accounting packages are available in the world you can see that myop you can see that attachy you can see that quickbooks uh, being used in uh, uk and european countries in the indian context also we have so many accounting packages tally uh, tcs uh, next generation focus and wings and busy all these are um, i mean uh, recent packages with inclusive of recent amendments also so by acquaint of computerized accounting knowledge the students not only get employment opportunities but he will be in a confidence uh, position about the knowledge of both accounting and computers also you can take this accounting uh, computerized accounting profession uh, of the line on the line and true line also many ways uh, you have you can uh, uh, take this profession at your from at your home also so this is the uh, scope of employment opportunities so my dear uh, friends uh, this is the uh, field that is catering both to the organizations as well as the uh, professionals for their performance uh, in order to speed up their performance in order to achieve uh, accompli i mean uh, efficiency and accomplishment of their tasks also so starting slide i told that accounting is the language what computer uh, adds to this uh, it is still language of the business computers uh, makes up your so called traditional language of business in a beautiful and faster and uh, evaluative and affordable way 
so computerized accounting uh, will facilitate uh, the people particularly stakeholders uh, right from the owners uh, to the research scholars uh, on the uh, on their uh, requirement in the uh, area of technology they will get uh, the information in a sophisticated way so often we used to say that computerized accounting is nothing but the combination of the power of computers with accounting principles no question of or no deviation of accounting principles in case of computerized and as well as also including the latest amendments also we have some ifrs ifrs applicable to the organizations uh, which are listed in nasdaq and london stock exchange or organizations which are funded by world bank and some ifr in such cases we are supposed to prepare the accounting reports in the ifrs format as well as uh, our traditional format also so computerized accounting aids as uh, uh, making uh, simply recording and getting most uh, sophisticated way the reports and formats what you require so students uh, this will be an interesting topic in the uh, present area for employment for uh, training and for development also okay i will uh, be looking forward you uh, so that based on this session you will be in a position to uh, know the basic ideas of computerized accounting as well as you will be entering into this field for your better career and development thank you thank you one and all